Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's story starts about uh, 20 years ago when I have discovered a site, a uh, very interesting site. Uh, I don't remember exactly the, the address. It was something with cool 386 uh, Australia. It was located in Australia. Uh, it was very, it, it was very, very interesting site. Uh, and at that time, um, I found on that site a super regenerative receiver for VHF, for FM band, radio band, using a double triode. Uh, it was using a 1287 double triode at, uh, at that time. Uh, I remember that I have built that radio and that it worked uh, just fine. Um, and um, I, was, I was pleased with that result. Recently, about one year ago, maximum, I rediscovered that site much richer than it was at uh, um, when, I, when I was discovering it. And um, I found on that site a very, very interesting uh, and interesting radio projects. Uh, I found out that uh, the site is uh, run it by um, a man called John Hunter from Blue Mountains, uh, Australia. Uh, and uh, I really want to tell you it's one of the best sites I ever seen uh, with uh, radio projects. So I decided to try another project from John's site. Um, I will give you the link for uh, the John site. Um, and for the schematic of this radio. I found an interesting radio using a uh, tube that we have uh, large stocks of it uh, here in, in Europe because it was used in television sets. Uh, and that tube is Papa Charlie Fox 82, PCF 82. Uh, it was intended to be used in TV sets uh, in the in the frame oscillator um, block on the on the uh, tube TV sets, so the, we you can find a lot of them uh, even in uh, new old stock conditions. Uh, you can find them on eBay, and uh, you can uh, you can try uh, this uh, this radio tube if you like it how it works. So I will not uh, uh, remain longer. I'm just saying that the radio part of the of the of the receiver is from the um, John site, uh, and the audio block is the same that I have used in the super uh, super heterodyne. Um, receiver. Uh, so you can find the schematic there. It's using a Papa Charlie Lima 85 uh, tube as an audio amplifier. That's it. Let's start. Let's see how it performs. We're going to start the anodic voltage. The filaments are already on, as you can see. So we're going to start the anodic voltage. Here it is. And we're having the hissing, the super regenerative hissing uh, of uh, any super regenerative radio. So let's start tuning it. Hmm, nice quality, nice quality, quite clear sound, no hissing, uh, no whistles, just nice sound. Impressive. 
Really impressive. Absolutely clear. No noise. Good quality audio. I, I, I can imagine that the telephone does not reproduce uh, with high fidelity. But uh, trust me, in the loudspeaker it sounds great. Absolutely great. And stable, quite stable. So that's it, the super regenerative receiver that uh, I was uh, trying to present you, I was trying to present you uh, on, uh, on this afternoon. Um, for the antenna, uh, it's using only a very, very small wire. You can see it here, it's only about 20, 25 centimeters maximum. And it's, it's picking up a lot of stations and with good quality. Of course, it's not stereo, it's not high fidelity, it's not uh, f fancy. Uh, it's just a radio that you can actually use. Um, you can have it, you can build it for your kitchen or if you're traveling, you can take it with you uh, and it will offer a decent quality audio um, for, for the VHF band. Of course, it can be extended so you can receive with it uh, the, the aero band, uh, uh, but it's for you, it's up to you if you want to try it. Um, I, I highly recommend you. Wish you all the best from Romania uh, and uh, hope to see you soon. Bye bye.